Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Dasha. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Ziva, welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Nice to Hello. Hello. Nice job. Can you hear me? Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. So I have a question to you. What about book? I ask you to read a book by Arnold Schwarzenegger, 77 lessons. So which lessons did you read it or not? Tasha, what about you? Did you read a book? Yeah, I uh, haven't read the book completely, uh, mm -hmm. but I uh, want to say it's an amazing book because I read a half books and uh, three lessons I like the most. Okay, wait, thank you. Great. Okay, think about them, about them, okay? <laughs> don't uh, don't, don't uh, lose your thought, leave it. <laughs> uh, Zima, what about you? Did you read the book? Uh, what a book? Oh, uh, by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I sent it to you last week. Uh, yes. In Viber. Yes, did uh, you read okay. it or no? No, because I don't... Uh, see i check oh. and uh, read and what about now can you see it right now in viber mm, one moment i check i check one moment. okay check please nastya what about you did you read the book no <laughs> why <laughs> you forgot you didn't book. know oh you didn't see it. guys look into viber uh it's don't worry it's a very short book just 28 pages but it's so cool uh i will maybe i will one more time let me write it this book i really like it can you see that right now nice dima the question is for you can you see it yes no in viber yes Yes, Nastya can see that. Dima, can you see the yeah, book in Viber? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, please, Dima and Nastya, you have today and tomorrow and the next day to read the book. It's very short, but it's really interesting. Okay, Dasha, I read this book. You read it too. So what lessons did you like? What are your favorite one? And maybe you will use them. Uh, not one lessons. I okay. uh, chose three lessons. I'm mm -hmm. into lesson number two about uh, put up your smartphone because I think it's um, really modern advice because um, teenagers spend a lot of time uh, using smartphone and um, machine um, mm -hmm. and uh, they uh, forgot to go out in really life. Uh, oh, and yeah. I think it is good uh, advice for uh, everyone. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. What else? Three. Uh, you told me three. Number, right? <laughs> number 16. I okay. appreciate the phrase uh, discomfort is a scene to stop, isn't seen to uh, keep going. I agree with uh, that because we need to um, go forward and not give up. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, it's uh, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you and, need to make small steps, right? Even if you don't want, if you want to give up, don't do it. Just go. <laughs> okay. What else, Dasha? Great. Um, Excellent. Uh, number uh, thirty-three. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's the last one. Uh, phrase. Um, don't uh, do it now. I think it's very cool because uh, and. Uh, it's cool and great advice for everyone mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. if you want to do something, you need to do that now because who knows, maybe tomorrow you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't waste your time, right? Do you remember Alina, the girl who started with you? Yeah, I remember. Alina. And she also chose that advice. Do it right now. She said, okay, I will say hi from you. She said, do it right now. It's the best advice. I so... 
you're all you're all like together okay dasha wonderful i highly recommend you to finish finish reading it it's it's really cool yeah you know it <laughs> you know that it's really it's very short and cool and good language why not to read it dima and nastya uh next time we will listen to your best lessons what you like okay dasha maybe you will find something more interesting and yes. if you want guys to use these advices in your life that will be great because this guy is 77 years old he's popular rich <laughs> he's a talented man so and he was terminator so we need to follow his advice okay wonderful Dasha, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Let's start. Uh, Nasty and Dima, I'm waiting for you. So what you need to do, look at this one. Uh, first of all, let's look at these words we started last time. I'm waiting for your homework. If you send it to me and I haven't sent, I will send it today. I will check it today. I will do my best. Uh, so let's first of all repeat the words. Dima, what's the first one? Just read it. Uh, first, uh, first one, one uh, beautiful record. Beautifully restored. Repeat. Ah, beautifully restored. Thank you, Nastya. Uh, charming. Charming. Long sound. Charming. Charming. Okay, Dasha. Contemporary. Great, Dima. Conveniently located. Conveniently located. Repeat. Conveniently located. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Uh, cozy. Cozy. Repeat. Cozy. cozy. Right. Mm -hmm. Dasha. Cramped. Cramped. Repeat. Cramped. Cramped. Right. Dima. Dilapidated. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Dasha? Peaceful. Yeah, Dima? Popular or lovely area? Lively. Lively. Lively area, yes. Right, Nastya? Remote. Great, Dasha? Spacious. Mm -hmm. Dima? Substan line. Substantial. Repeat. Uh, substantial. And the last one, Nastya. Tiny. Yeah, great. Ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me, but from the end, okay? Because the words are difficult for pronounce, to pronunciation, to pronounce them. Come on. Tiny. 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 Mm -hmm. Substantial. 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 Spacious. 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 Remote. 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 Mm -hmm. Lively area. Lively, Lively area. area. Popular area. Popular, Popular area. area. Peaceful. 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 Impressive. 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 Dilapidated. Dilapidated. Cramped. 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 Uh, cozy. 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 Conveniently located. Conveniently, Conveniently located. located. Contemporary. 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 Charming. 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 Beautifully restored. Beautifully, Beautifully restored. restored. Okay, now look at it. You can see 12 sentences. Uh, you need to read and change the underlined word into one of these words. Nastya, can you start the first one? Uh, Nastya? Teachers. Read. Um, read? Yeah, no, no, no. Read, read. I mean, read. Come on. Each year, three. Uh, each year, the there reads, is more. The reads. Than... Uh -huh. Uh, music festival in November. Mm -hmm. Guys, Nastya, Dasha, Dima, uh, let's change modern into one of our equivalents. What can it be? Contemporary. Exactly. This is contemporary. Yes. And we can put number one here. Nastya, can you read it? Uh, each year there is a um, 
temporary contemporary music. contemporary contemporary music festival in november right number two dasha read um it is a very large and strong uh, bungalow bungalow uh, yeah bungalow bungalow ba ban bungalow bungalow Repeat. hmm what Maybe do you think which dilapidated no dilapidated is very bad condition no but look at it strong very large and strong dima nastya dasha what else look at the words impressive no not impressive no what is mm. it Nastya? beautiful i restarted no guy okay let's check like this one um not beautifully restored yeah not dilapidated not impressive what else come on. conveniently located no why located in bung bungalow bungalow no substantial. substantial substantial right this is it that is substantial it's number two dasha read again it's our uh, it's sub substantial bungalow it's a substantial substantial sorry it's a substantial it's a sub substantial bungalow thank you dima what do you think what's number three uh this house uh is flowery area mm, i think no not lovely area lively area on a very good area conveniently located exactly that is conveniently located dima can you read it uh, this house yes this house is uh conveniently located there are a lot of uh super supermarkets super, supermarkets, uh, supermarkets super. and the uh, bus stops there okay thank you guys right now we did it three only three of them right now you do that together like i did so you say nastya it will be your turn you help each other you're one team and if nastya doesn't know dash and dima help if nobody knows it's okay decide together what it is and write the number okay uh decide who will write on my screen dima nastya or dasha and do it guys i'm just looking and in uh, i don't know in three minutes when you finish we will double check okay, okay. so nastya uh go on dasha dima help and and somebody write maybe dasha you will write numbers as you think okay do it come on i'm here guys let's go uh it was so far away maturation mountain a village with no electricity supply it's remote i think you agree yes i agree um there was a fan fence and and in a very bad uh, condition fence i think it's dilapidated yes, mm, I, yes. Agree. I agree uh the hotel is uh, situated in a bus area um, popular area popular. maybe yeah maybe popular areas yes. uh, the hotel is situated in a busy oh no number seven the boat uh an attractive italian restaurant i think it's charming you agree uh, what i think i think it's charming mm, i'm not agree i think a charming quiz number nine okay maybe leave the sentence and uh, yes yes maybe leave and uh turn and number eight are they walked from their office uh they didn't have enough place for people near the main station of 
maybe it's uh, cramped, very small room or something like that. You agree or yeah, not? Yeah, I agree. Mm, I think yes. Okay. Uh, the number nine, uh, the new building uh, looks uh, the most wonderful. With this, I think it's charming, but... Uh, uh, and number seven uh, was similar. What do you think? Uh, what uh, we think is the reason? Um, maybe we have word impressive. Maybe it's uh, wow, very very cool place, and uh, maybe we use impressive or not. But yes, yes, I, I think yeah. Number seven, uh, charming, and number nine, uh, yes. Number ten. Uh, nice to start. <laughs> Number ten. One second. Oh, okay, I'm start. Number ten. Uh, we sound ourselves uh, in a extremely uh, small room. This is tiny, one thousand persons. <laughs> small room. It's. Uh... Tiny. 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 Oh. Tiny? Tiny, yes, yes. Tiny. Exactly. Um, Nastya? I'm so sorry, we come into a very large with a lot of space room. Um, a cozy, I think. Oh no, 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 not cozy. Um, I think it's, it's cozy is because the beautiful restaurant, it was uh, the last sentence. Yes. Cozy. But we have spaces, I don't remember what it is. It's... it's, it's We're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what is number 11? 11, it's cozy. Mm -hmm. It's very large. When something is very large, it's not cozy. Cozy when you like being there. Yeah, you like to be there. You like the atmosphere. Oh, it's so cozy to be there. You want to stay there to live. And when something is very large, a very large room, what is it? Not cozy, but what's the second option? You told me. Come on, come on. You were discussing. What is it? Spacious. Spacious, right. So spacious, this is 11. Spacious, it's very large. We say like prostornaya. Yeah, that is spacious. Okay, guys, excellent. Thank you. About the most wonderful, you were absolutely right. It's impressive. That is the most, because the most wonderful, it means like it's impressive. Okay, while you were speaking, I was typing something. <laughs> Let's try to do that together. So, in the first one, guys, how to say that correctly? I don't agree. Of course, guys. Uh, so, not am, yeah, because agree, it's the verb. That's why I don't agree or I do not agree. I don't agree. Or you can say, if you like it, I, d I, disagree. I disagree. It's the same. I don't agree. I disagree. And what about this one? You agree, oh, it's okay. No, you but agree. I agree. Guys, but look at it. What is it? Do you agree? Do you do you agree, right? You, I don't agree. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you be attentive? Only do and nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, how to say this word? Busy. Yeah. Busy. busy. Exactly. Busy area. Yeah. A busy area. Right. Uh, what about this one? How do we say? Cramped. Cramped. No. No. Cramped. Cramped. 
t, yeah, cramped. we have to be uh, and like t, cramped, together, guys, cramped, cramped, cramped. Mm -hmm. What mistake is here? What do you uh, think? What do, what what do, do you think? Yes. How how can we say in other case? What do you think? What else? How can we say in other variant? About opinion. What's, what's your opinion? opinion? Yes, what's your opinion about it? Yeah? What do you think? What's your opinion about it? And and you and... Uh, okay, let's leave two options. That's okay. How to say the next word, guys? Charming. Charming, exactly. We don't say letter G. We finish with letter N. Charming, right. Uh, how to say this one? One thousand percent. Percent. No, 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 no. The stress is here. One hundred percent. Yeah. Together, guys. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And I don't know. Somebody told me how to say this word, guys. We. 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 Of course. <laughs> and what about this word? Large. Large. Large, yes. Okay, that's great. Let's repeat after me uh, some phrases to remember. I don't agree. Man? I don't agree. I don't agree. I, agree. I, disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? A busy area. A busy, A busy area. area. Cramped. 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 What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And don't forget, guys, th between your teeth, yeah? What do you think? Think. What do you think? Together. What do you think? What do you think? What, what do you think? think? What's your opinion about it? What's your, What's opinion, your opinion about, about it? it? Charming. 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 100%. 100%. Charming. And, of course, this one, large. 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 Excellent. Now let's look at it. Remember, last time we finished here, you decided that the best option will be here. Let's look at, I mean, exercise number eight. And we didn't have enough time to check everything. So right now, look through everything. What do you think it is? Let's try to listen to it and please double check your option. Were you right or wrong? Or maybe you will hear something else. You need to hear the correct option. Okay? So, guys, take a pen, be ready with the pen, and listen to it attentively. And after that, you will tell me what's right or what's wrong. Exercise eight. Take some notes, guys. Listen. Lesson 4A. Exercises six and eight. Ready? So, this is the house. As I say, it's conveniently located near to the shops, and there are lots of good restaurants and bars nearby. So, it's quite noisy then? Lively, I'd say. We're in a very popular area of town. The road's quite busy. Well, yes, it can get busy. There are lots of buses that will take you right to the town centre. Here's one now, in fact. Oh, it's stopping right outside the front gate. There is a bus stop here. Yes. What could be more convenient? Shall we go in? So, this is the hall. And on the right is the living room. Cozy, isn't it? Hmm. It's certainly small and a bit dark. And through here is the kitchen. Oh, it's tiny. It certainly isn't spacious, but I wouldn't say it's cramped. The cooker and fridge are new, and it looks out onto the back garden. Oh, yes. The owner isn't keen on gardening, then? No, I suppose not. And the back fence is very dilapidated. It looks like it could fall down at any moment. Yes, it might possibly need a bit of work. Uh, moving on, upstairs. This is the main bedroom. 
There's a charming view from the window. I can see right into the bus station. Yes, um, I mean, above that. You can see right across the town. So, what do you think of the house? Hmm, I'm not sure. It could be beautifully restored. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm listening to you, Nastya. Can you please tell me, uh, number one, I think it's okay. What is number two? Not remote. Uh, number here? two, it's yes. popular area. Yeah, popular. Popular area. Repeat. Popular. Popular. Area. Popular area. Yes, great. Uh, what about number four, Dasha? Uh, I don't hear first word, but second, it's really uh, spacious, and uh, the last uh, print. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and about the first one, it's okay. It was tiny, so we'll leave it. It's it's okay. It's Great, nice. thank you. Number five, Dima, what was there? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Guys, ladies, help. It's very dilapidated. Yes. Dima, repeat. Dilapidated. Yes, Dima. Let's go. Dilapidated. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Nastya, the last one. Uh, I don't remember. Dasha, Dima, what is it? Charming. 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 Yes, exactly. This is it. And the last one, it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's play a game, your homework. I hope you did it. If no, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's your problem. So, let's do it. Uh, just, first of all, just read one by one. Nastya, can you read it? This, this old mansion, it's a beautiful restored. Be attentive, Nastya. This old mansion is beautifully restored. Repeat. This old mansion is beautifully restored. Yes, this is it. Thank you. Dima? Uh, she has a uh, boat and uh, bungalow recently. It's a uh, charming. Recently? Recently. recently? It is charming. Repeat. It is charming. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Dasha? I live in a... Uh, Contemporary, but contemporary, contemporary, but exactly right. Nastya, that semi detached house is conveniently located to the shops. Right. Is conveniently located. Is it's convenient? Is not it's nothing or not it is is. Is I convenient? Yeah, I heard it. Okay, sorry. Say that again. Uh, that semi detached house uh, is conveniently Conveniently. Conveniently. conveniently mm -hmm. Located to the shop. Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, Dasha? Uh, on the right is a living room. Cozy, uh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Dima, okay. Uh, the kitchen was small and cramped. Sorry? Cramped. 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 Cramp cramped. And then put it in. Cramped. Nastya? We stayed in an old dilapidated hotel. Mm -hmm. Hotel only, yeah. Dilipidated hotel. hotel. Dasha? Uh, isn't an impressive movie. Sorry, how to say the first it's, word? It's. it's mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dima? Uh, uh, this area is peaceful. Sorry? Peaceful. Repeat? No, oh, peaceful. Peaceful. Right. Uh, nice, yeah? I it's say, a lovely hear area. Mm -hmm. uh, Dasha? Uh, 
it was a remote mountain village uh, with no electricity uh, supply. Mm -hmm. Great. Dima? My room is uh, spacious. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah? It's a substantial building. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Dasha? Uh, they live in a tiny farmhouse. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I. farmhouse. Yes, okay, guys, what you need to do, let's play a game, okay? Uh, so, this is it. Yes, uh, what you need to do, because I'm okay, I don't know, let's take this one. Okay, what you need to do right now, there will be a link. Me, I don't like it. Uh, so, I'm sending you this link uh, in Viber, so or go there, or in our chat, Zoom, yeah? So, follow this link and come in. I will be with you, and don't forget to tell what your name is. It's a game. So, take your mobile phones and play. Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, in Zoom. What about Zoom? Can you see in Zoom, in chat? Uh, yes, in Zoom I uh, okay. can see. Okay, click the link. Nasty is here. That's wonderful. Okay, guys, wait for me. Nasty, you're here. Don't forget your name. Nastya. why Nastya? Why not English? Nastya. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so Tanya is here, Zima, Zuba, okay, Dashinka, we are waiting for you, let's go. Come on, yeah, you need to write your name or something. Yeah. Where are you? We are waiting for you. Have you seen the link? Silku Bacha? Yeah. Yes. Oh, everybody's here. Great. So, guys, be ready. Let's play a game on your screen, on your mobile phone. Let's see who is the winner. Come on. So, look at it, and you have to choose the correct option. For example, like this. So, I'm here. Come on. To, um, choose uh, the correct option. Yeah, maybe sometimes you need to choose the translation. Sometimes okay. you need to choose something like that. Okay, look at the variant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. If you make a mistake, guys, you will start again. Yeah, like Gepard. Yeah. And like Marske Chiripashki. So come on, do it. Let's see. Come on, you have time. Don't worry about that. Let's go see who is the winner. Just 12 points. Sometimes there might be a translation or definition, anything. Okay, somebody has 10, 6, 5, 0. Gepardi. Where are you? Let's go. Okay, one I see. Great. The game is not over when we don't have a winner. Okay. Dasha. Oh, great. <laughs> You're the winner here. Dima and Nastya, who is Morski Chiripaki? Who is that? Uh, Morski Chiripaki. Oh, congratulations. The second place. Lvi, Lvi, I'm here. Gepardi, next time, more concentrate. Okay, excellent. Go on, guys. That's just a game, so you may go out. That's okay. Now let's do like this one. So what you need to do right now, you will listen to four people, and these four people, they will describe their homes, okay, how they look like. Look at it. We've got the variants. Uh, so let's read, Dima, the first. This home? Mm, one moment. Uh, this home is uh, not as uh, modern as the owner uh, would like. Owners, it's the people who have this house. Yes, they are the main. Vladelci. 
those are the owners. Uh, Nastya? Uh, did not cost very much. Exactly. Uh, Dasha? Uh, it's very dilapidated. Did dilapidated the concept. Dilapidated. Yeah, Dima. Mm, uh, has got wonderful ways. Views. Views. Mm -hmm. Wonderful views. It's like beautiful nature. You say, wow, mountains, trees. That means wonderful views. Views. And the last one, Dasha. Oh, Dasha Nastya, sorry. Uh, is in remote location. Is in a in a remote location. One more time. Is, is in, in a remote location. Yeah. So, guys, listen to it attentively. Be attentive. And when you know the answer, you just write number one because the speaker one will it be. So you write number one here or here or here or here where you think it is true. Okay. Let's go, guys. Be ready. Come on. Lesson 4A. Exercises 9, 10 and 11. 1. I live in quite an unusual home. It's a houseboat on the River Thames. My mum and dad are quite arty and alternative, and they decided a few years ago to sell their house in Oxford and buy a houseboat. A houseboat is also so much cheaper than a house. They managed to get one for £20,000, which is amazingly cheap. Mind you, it was in a pretty poor state and needed some work doing on it, but they managed to do that fairly cheaply too. When I tell people I live on a houseboat, they usually think it's far away, in the middle of the countryside. But in fact, the boat is parked on the canal in Oxford. Unfortunately, there aren't any spaces for boats near the centre, but we're still in the city. Mm-hmm. So, Dasha thinks this one. Uh, nice. Yeah, Zima, what do you think? Mm, I think the number mm, uh, E. I agree with girls. You agree with the girls. Um, but I can't say that is all right. Okay, let's leave it like question mark. Because I can't say that this is E. Maybe something else. But let's continue with the next one. Okay? Maybe you will understand. Let's go. Number two. Two. I live in a block of flats on the outskirts of Prague. The flat is quite spacious and has got three bedrooms, a dining room, living room, bathroom and toilet. What I like best about it is the balcony. You reach it through some glass sliding doors from the living room. We're on the eighth floor, so we can see right across the city, which is fantastic. The block has a garden that we share with all the other residents, but it would be nice to have a garden of our own. Unfortunately, my parents don't earn much money, so we can't afford to move anywhere better. Mm -hmm. Guys, what do you think number two? Dasha thinks this one, D. Dima, nice job. what do you think? Do you agree with Dasha or not? Mm -hmm. Dima? Mm, I don't know because I am not uh, listening anything mm -hmm. uh, with this. Uh... Okay, next time try it. But girls, you are right. That's number two. You're right. Listen to number four. Three. Three. We lived in Florence for many years in a flat, but we recently moved to the country. The flat was quite cramped compared to our new house, which is an old farmhouse. There aren't many people living nearby. Our nearest neighbour is a five-minute walk away, and it's a couple of kilometres to the nearest town. Although the countryside round here is lovely, the views aren't great from the house, as it's surrounded by trees. But it's a very spacious house, beautifully restored by the previous owners, so it wasn't cheap. 
It has six bedrooms, so I don't have to share with my sister anymore. All in all, it's not a bad place to live, but I miss the excitement of city life. Mm -hmm. So Dasha thinks three. Okay. Uh, you change your mind, right, Nastya? What do you think? Is it E or I'm not? not sure. Yeah, but Dasha was right. This is it. That is E, absolutely. So, guys, ladies, E, that is right. Right. This time it's okay. So, I'll clean this question mark. You're right. Okay. The fourth, be attentive. Four. We live in a terraced house in Boston. We've been living here for about a month now. It's a lovely house, quite old. My parents bought it from an old lady who lived here for 40 years. During that time, she didn't really modernize it. It's in good condition, but the decor is very old-fashioned. My parents want to create a much more contemporary look and are going to spend quite a bit of money on it until they've got it how they want it. They also need to insulate the roof so we don't waste any energy. I think they're going to start in the next month or two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four, four, eight. Yes, okay, you're right. No, no, that is four. It's okay. A, A, A is right. And let's come back to the first one, guys. We've got two options, B and C. Let's listen and choose one of them. Okay. Let's go here. On the River Thames. N and 11. One. I live in quite an unusual home. It's a houseboat on the River Thames. My mum and dad are quite arty and alternative, and they decided a few years ago to sell their house in Oxford and buy a houseboat. A houseboat is also so much cheaper than a house. They managed to get one for £20,000, which is amazingly cheap. Mind you, it was in a pretty poor state mm. and needed some work doing on it, but they managed to do that fairly cheaply too. When I tell people I live on a houseboat, they usually think it's far away, in the middle of the countryside, but in fact, the boat is parked on the canal in Oxford. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there aren't any spaces for boats near the centre, but we're still in the city. Mm -hmm. Great, yes, that is one. Uh, Dima, tell me please, uh, what type of home was it in this recording? Do you remember? Uh, where? The, this one you have just listened to. What type of home was it? Nastya, maybe you remember what type of home was it? I don't remember. Dasha, what type of home first, was it? First home, it was um, a home board, board home. Yeah, house, look at it. House boat. House yeah. boat, house yeah, board. that's right. The first one was house boat. Okay, now guys, what you need to do, you listen to it again and you have uh, to think about it, what type of home it is. Yeah, so we know the first one, it's houseboat. Look at this one, options. And tell me after that, which one appeals to you? Appeals to you, it means like attract you. So you like it. Yeah, and I which yeah, Dasha. I remember if I'm not mistake, um, the last was farm, farmhouse. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, yeah, let's house boat. Yeah, I made a mistake. It's it's here, right? Uh, the last farmhouse. Yeah, you mean? Or number three? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's leave it. So, guys. Uh, listen to it. Continue. We know number one, that is a houseboat. Yeah, a, I forgot a houseboat. Listen to numbers two, three and four, what uh, type of house it is. Okay. And be attentive. 
which appeals you to you m most so you like it so much and appeals to you least that you don't like it you didn't like it okay go on i will stop after the second speaker listen two i live in a block of flats on the outskirts of prague the flat is quite spacious and has got three bedrooms a dining room living room bathroom and toilet what I like best about it is the balcony. You reach it through some glass sliding doors from the living room. We're on the eighth floor, so we can see right across the city, which is fantastic. The block has a garden that we share with all the other residents, but it would be nice to have a garden of our own. Unfortunately, my parents don't earn much money, so we can't afford to move anywhere better. Mm -hmm. Three. Stop. What place was it, guys? Flat. What? Flat. Flat, exactly. Okay. Let's draw it. It's one, two. Flat. Mm -hmm. Guys, and remember which you like, which one appeals to you most. Go on. We lived in Florence for many years in a flat, but we recently moved to the country. The flat was quite cramped compared to our new house, which is an old farmhouse. There aren't many people living nearby. Our nearest neighbour is a five-minute walk away, and it's a couple of kilometres to the nearest town. Although the countryside round here is lovely, the views aren't great from the house, as it's surrounded by trees. But it's a very spacious house, beautifully restored by the previous owners, so it wasn't cheap. It has six bedrooms, so I don't have to share with my sister anymore. All in all, it's not a bad place to live, but I miss the excitement of city life. Mm -hmm. Dima, what place is it? Uh, farm. What? Farm, what farm? Farm house. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah. let say a uh, farmhouse no. a flat. Uh, yeah, first he, well, they were in a flat, but then they moved to a farmhouse. Yeah, the first one flat. Okay, and the last one, be attentive. Yeah. Four. We live in a terraced house in Boston. We've been living here for about a month now. It's a lovely house, quite old. My parents bought it from an old lady who lived here for 40 years. During that time, she didn't really modernize it. It's in good condition, but the decor is very old-fashioned. My parents want to create a much more contemporary look and are going to spend quite a bit of money on it until they've got it how they want it. They also need to insulate the roof so we don't waste any energy. I think they're going to start in the next month or two. Mm hmm All right, Dash. Uh, nice, yeah? What house was it? Sorry. Number four. Yes, Nastya, I'm what was sure. it? Yeah, but tell me. Come on. Mm. Dasha Dima, maybe you heard. Terrace. Terrace house. house. Yeah, a terraced house. Yeah, this is it. Okay, guys, so, uh, Dima, what about you? Which one appeals you appeals to you most? Guys, please, in your uh, speech, use appeals to me. Okay. Tell me. I think a uh, second owner, because uh, we have uh, a lot of rooms. We have a uh, uh, very you know, cool uh, space, can be seen uh total city because uh we have a uh, eight uh state home mm -hmm. not state uh oh floors I yeah don't, I don't, floor uh, ah yeah, floor and uh, we have a small garden I s listen no it's... no no they are dreaming about a small garden but they don't have um, it yeah, they no. want a small garden. Okay, thank you, Dasha. Uh, which one appeals to you most? Appeals to me, I choose uh, maybe flat because 
are in fact uh, of you will be neighbors, Dasha and Dima. You will be neighbors. <laughs> okay. Uh, Why? Amazing, amazing views. I think it's great. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. Nice, yeah. What about you? Which one? I think it's Dasha. <laughs> Guys, you will. Everyone will live on one and the same floor, three flats together. Mm -hmm. Great neighbors. <laughs> Why? Nice thing. Why? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> So maybe beautiful viewers, the same, right? Who no. Oh, because Dasha and Dima will live on the same floor with you. Who knows? Okay, Nastya, uh, what appeals you least? Yeah, least. You don't like it. Which one? Uh, maybe number four. Uh, it's, what is it? It's a terraced it's, house, you mean? It is, it's, yes. Why? Yeah, explain. Um because it's so old house and i don't like it okay dima what do you think what uh, attracts appeals you least mm -hmm. you? i don't attract anything because i think only houses or only space uh, when uh, we can uh, sleep and make another makes i think total uh, normal mm -hmm. so everything is great yeah Okay, Dasha, what about you? Um, it seems to me, I think the, the best variant is the houseboat. Because mm -hmm. Why? Uh, you live in the water and maybe it's uncomfortable and maybe your house. And uh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, guys, uh, what about you? Where do you live now? Uh, Dasha, what about you? In what type of home do you live? Um, maybe it's a uh, farmhouse or no bungalow. Bungalow, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, because bungalow. Mm -hmm. How many floors do you have? One uh, floor or two floors? One floor. One floor. So if we speak about one floor, it's bungalow or a farmhouse. Yeah, because it's in the village. You're right. Okay, Zima. Uh, what about you? Where do you live? Mm, uh, right uh, uh, same detached house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so semi oh semi semi detached house. Oh, interesting. Uh, nice. So, what about you? Where do you live now? Uh, now I live in bungalow. Bungalow, yeah, bungalow. Bungalow. Yeah, about me, I live in a flat <laughs> right now. Okay, guys, excellent. Let's remember, we had some, any, much, or many. When we speak about affirmative sentences, we say some. Affirmative, it's like right? They are affirmative. Any in negative, yeah, and in questions. So let's remember this one. And uh, we use much with uncountable and many with plural number. Uh, guys, what you need to do, look through everything. And what do you think? What is the first one? Some or any? Look in the first sentence. Some. What is it? Why? Because uh, it's uh, not question and not... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Negative, Negative sentence. Yeah. Negative it's sentence. affirmative. Okay, yeah, maybe. Uh, next one, B, Dima, what do you think? What is right uh, here? Uh, uh, space uh, for best near enter. Uh -huh. I think uh, some. Some, but it's a negative. Can you see what do we uh, use yes, in negative? Maybe? Yeah, I'm because aren't it's there. a negative. Ah, uh, yes, there aren't any. So, any, exactly. Nastya, what about number two? What is it? Uh, some. Mm -hmm. Why? I have a question. Because Why so? Because we don't have question and <laughs> negative sentences. Right. Okay, Dasha. Um, I think it's many because money we can't. Uh... So if you can't count, like water, juice, money, what do we say? Much or many? Many mm. mobile phones, many oh, dogs, much. many cats, much. Exactly right. It's a negative sentence and much. 
Tima, what about this one? Or? Uh, much. But what do we have Because here? this is a negative. It's a negative, you're right. Yes. But we need to look at the noun. We have people here. So here uh, there are four people in our group, yeah? You and uh, me. There are four people. Can we count them? One, two, three, four. Yes, many. Yes. So if we can't, about money, we can't count. We can't say one money. It's impossible. But about people, one girl, two girls, one boy, one man. So what will it be, Dima? Much or many? Many, many, exactly. Many, exactly. And I said the last one. What will it be? Any. Any, yeah, that's absolutely right. Okay, guys, I think we don't need to listen to it again. Everything great here, you're right. And let's speak. We have something to speak. Uh, today we were talking about the house. So let's describe the place where you live. Here it is, the plan. It's like they, it will help you. Uh, yeah, for sure, I will uh, send you some words. Okay, and you need to say something about your place, about the place where you live right now, okay? If you like it, you don't like it, use one of these words. So, look through everything. Uh, when we say outskirts or in the suburbs, it's the same. It's not in the center. It's like we say, now call it suburbs. Uh, on uh, on outskirts, on suburbs, not in the center uh, of the town. Somewhere, yeah, at the end of the town. That is it. The part. Oh, let's let's show it to you, guys. When we say uh, on the outskirts, it means the part of the town or city that are the furthest from the center. It's like in Odessa, uh, Pasiolok Katovskova or Lilian Pasiolok, yeah, the furthest from the center. That is outskirts. And we have one more. Let's, what was it? Suburbs. Okay, let's check suburbs. Suburbs. Suburbs, the same, yeah, which is an area where people live away from the center of the town or city. So we can say in suburbs or on the outskirts, it's the same, okay? And it's also mean not only about the city, it's also about the village, why not? Or in the village center. Uh, next one, let's look at it. A bit very what? Dilapidated, impressive, beautifully restored, spacious, and so on. So guys, right now I give you one minute to think about the place where you live. Uh, this is a plan. Please look at it and in a minute be ready to tell me where you live. Okay? So just a minute for you. Oh, my, my stopwatch. Okay, guys, a minute for you. Look through. Think about what you are going to say. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences. Very fast. So you have 40 seconds. Okay, guys, who want to start? I'm listening to you. Come on, who wants to start? Me. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I live in Bangalore. Um, oh, it's on the Scottish, um, Scottish mm -hmm. village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Uh, we, in the village, we have... Uh, Stadium, uh, shop nearly. Uh, it's got uh, my bedrooms, and uh, also we have a uh, kitchen, a uh, living room, my uh, parents' bedroom, uh, mm -hmm. and shower. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, bathroom. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there? <laughs> Uh, near house, we have uh, garden, drive, uh, flower bed. Sure. Uh, and so... Uh, How can it, you describe your house? 
It's very or a bit what? It's a very popular area and mm -hmm. uh, um, I think uh, cozy. I mm -hmm. hope. So. Okay, yeah. It's in a very popular area, right? And when you want to say about this one, you just say it's on the outskirts of the village. Yeah, for example, like this. Yeah, great, wonderful. Dasha, only don't forget about a kitchen, a living room, a uh, eh, 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 bathroom, eh, a shower. Yeah. Okay, nice day, Dima. Great, excellent. Mm, I want to start. Yeah, go on. Uh, okay, I live in uh, the same detached house uh, and uh, um, I like it. Uh, it's uh, 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 in the town. Uh, very popular space. Uh, nearly, I have a, a lot of uh, shops uh, nearby and a lot of uh, bus station because this is a very popular uh, popular space. Uh, I have uh, two bedrooms and I have a uh, kitchen and bathroom and hall. Mm -hmm. uh, with interesting, I have a balcony and uh, I have an uh, attic. Mm. Uh, How can and, you uh, describe it? Uh, what? How can you, with one word, how can you describe the place where you live? Use these words. Uh, uh, I uh, can it? use a beautiful restaurant and cozy. Uh -huh. So my house here yeah, is beautiful. Uh, my house uh, have a beautiful restaurant and very cozy. Yeah, not only have, but my house is yeah beautiful restaurant. Uh, my house is a uh, beautiful uh -huh. restaurant. And how to say this word? Uh, <laughs> shops. Mm -hmm. Yes, but not what shops. you told me. Yes. yes, you remember. That's great. Thank I you. Remember. <laughs> and what's the title of the city where you live? I remember that you are in Italy, but what title is it? The uh, city. That, what's the uh, name? I live in uh, region is Venice, uh, but I live uh, uh, in another city, Margera. And Margera. Okay, so difficult to say that, but great. Very Thank difficult. you. <laughs> yeah, uh, nice. Yeah, what about you? Where do you live? right now? I live uh -huh. in the uh, in the bungalow. Uh -huh. It's a um, village. In the village, we have park, one school, uh -huh. um, two football stadiums, and. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. I don't know. And how many bedrooms Five are there in big your shops? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, a big village. Uh, in my bungalow, has got uh, five bedrooms uh -huh. and a kitchen. Uh -huh. Как будет гостиная? Я забыла. And the living room. Living room. In the living room. Okay. Um, we have a drive, a garden, and flower bed, and mm -hmm. a vegetable garden. Agarot. What about vegetable garden? Nasi. Isti agarot isat. Yeah, we can say like vegetable garden. Vegetable. Uh, eh? Vegetable. It will be like a garot, vegetable garden. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you describe your uh, place where you live? Uh, very cozy and mm -hmm. uh, conveniently catered. Okay, great. And what's the name of your village? I remember Dasha lives in Belka. I remember that. Zaria. <laughs> Zaria. Is it an Odessa region? Да, это недалеко от Арцизы, это Тарбунаров. Sorry, English, English. It's not far from. <laughs> uh, Come on. It's don't. It's not far from. It's not far from uh, Arcis and 
Tatarbunar. Oh, actually, my husband is from that region originally. Uh, he is from Divizia. It's not far from Tatarbunar. But I really, I'm bad, very bad at geography. So <laughs> it's not my topic. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, sorry for being late, you. Uh, guys, Dima, Nastya. Read the book by Schwarzenegger. Okay. I'm sure you will like it. Uh, Dasha, finish it and maybe find something new. Yeah. Have a good day. Goodbye, guys.